what I'm working on here is this section of track right through this area where it comes off the uh, helix. And this is the, the break. There's the power from the staging area ends here. And then this is the power uh, for one of the power districts or buses, as I call them, on the main level. Now, what I've done is there's feeders that have been uh, run underneath. Uh, there's one there's one right here. Um, and then what I do is is I bring them, for example, through that hole there and then I line them up over here. And you'll notice that one of the things I do use these jumpers. So I tend to put all the red wires on one side and jumper them. And then all the, uh, the green wires will come into another side. And then uh, here's the, uh, the red feed, which then sp will spread through these three reds. And here's the green feed, which comes in here, which spreads through these three greens. And then these two feeders are then uh, supplied, and this is 14 gauge, over to the main bus. And I use suitcase connectors here. I left them open so you could see them. But uh, that's how I do this little section. So it's 22 gauge feeders from the track. These are 18 going to the terminal strip. And I like these zero styles. I just cut them the size I need. And of course, it's hard to see. But each one of these is marked as to where they go. And they correspond to uh, what's on my uh, wire diagram. This section here is the bottom of the section of or module that goes uh, at Michelson on my layout. And if I go down here to the drawing, that's this section right through here. It's uh, upside down. The, the wood is upside down because I'm, I'm doing some preliminary wiring here. Um, that I won't be able to do underneath very easily just just because of the amount of area. But this is very similar what I do what I just showed you in the other one. Number 22 gauge. It's marked. That's Michelson 051. And you'll you can see a picture on the picture. It'll be uh, right here. So that when it comes over to here, it's it's also marked. I've got some other ones I have to run because they're going to be on the other side of some supports that come laterally. So what I've done is I've added three foot wires to this set here. And then another th set of three foot wires here and they'll run down uh, vertical, then over horizontal uh, and then up to this here and then they'll go in. So the 63, which is down there, will come in over here. And likewise for the 04, which will come in there and there. And once again, what I'll do is I'll run some 14 gauge wire to the ends and that'll power all the reds and then it'll power all the greens. And these are all annotated, so I'd be able to find it, uh, which wire goes where, if I have to troubleshoot. And one of the reasons why I do break these up, these are the uh, solderless uh, bayonet connectors, um, is that way I can pull everything apart uh, if I have to really troubleshoot it. It'll be trouble, it'll be hard to get at it, but it'll, it'll still come apart.